In this video, let's see another topic based on the concept of matrices. The topic is properties of matrix multiplication. We have already seen properties of matrix addition and scalar multiplication. This video has the first property of matrix multiplication. We were seeing commutativity in case of matrix addition. What about commutativity in case of matrix multiplication? Actually, in matrix addition, commutativity property is followed. But in case of matrix multiplication, let's see what the statement is. The statement says matrix multiplication is not commutative in general. So that means every time it is not necessary that matrix multiplication will be commutative. Sometimes it may be, sometimes it may be not. In what cases it will be there, in what cases it will be not, let's see. Suppose I have a matrix A and that matrix A is Aij and it is the order M by N. And then I have another matrix B which is Bij and it has the order N by P. So that means what? That means whether AB is possible, that means multiplication is possible, we are going to see that. Yes, AB is possible, the reason being that the number of columns of the pre-factor, which is the first matrix, are equal to the number of rows of the post-factor. So that means this is pre-multiplier, this is post-multiplier, in few books we will be seeing pre-factor, post-factor and so it is a M by P matrix in general that we will be getting. So the answer will be what? It will be suppose say Cij, a new matrix, it will be obtained and the order will be M by P. But what about BA? BA means first you need to multiply the matrix B with A. So in this case the post multiplier and the pre multiplier have changed. B has become my pre multiplier, A has become my post multiplier. Now BA means what? You need to see from the perspective of B being first and A being later. So N by P is B's order. You remember this? And what about the order of A? It is M by N. Now are the columns of pre multiplier equal to the columns of post multiplier? P is not equal to M. So that means what? That means BA here does not exist doesn't exist. I will be writing this because actually it does not exist. Reason being the values are not equal. But in certain cases why the questions statement did not stop here at not commutative. It stopped at in general because sometimes the case is like this where commutativity does not exist. But sometimes commutativity will exist. When? Let's see. Suppose I have an example. I have two matrices A and B. The matrix A is such that it is say Aij 2 by 2, a 2 by 2 matrix and a matrix B which is Bij and a 2 by 2 matrix. Both these have the same orders. Now what about AB and BA? AB does it exist? Let's look at it. First A then B. The first matrix is the pre-multiplier, A is the pre-multiplier, the number of columns of A is equal to number of rows of B. Yes, it exists. And the answer would be a matrix, say Cij with the order 2 by 2. And these matrices, if given to me, are equal, say both the matrices are equal, then BA will also exist and the order will again be what? It will be a 2 by 2 matrix only. The case when the order is also same and the matrices are also same, the order and the elements both are same, in that case commutativity is followed, otherwise commutativity in general case is not followed. That is what this property says that yes, commutativity in general case in case of matrix multiplication is not followed, only and only when it is followed when the order is same, when the matrices are equal.